At Colorado State University in Fort Collins, Hershey the cow donates life-saving fluids thanks to a porthole in her side. Veterinarian Rob Callan says that Hershey doesn't mind. After it's in and it's healed, there's really no difference in their sensation than just normal skin. Behind Hershey's porthole is warm, wet, stinky grass and microbes digesting the grass. For sick cattle, Rob Callan's team siphons out some of Hershey's healthy microbes into a bottle. They use a tube to transfuse this fluid into another cow. To help a horse, animal doctor Jennifer Gold uses a different source for the microbes. If you have a horse that has very bad diarrhea, then you actually get a healthy horse's feces, you turn it into a mush, and basically so you can pump it through. While common for livestock, fecal transplants for humans are rare. That may change as more people seek out a cure for recurrent C. diff colitis. The Centers for Disease Control reports that in the U.S., deaths from this intestinal infection tripled during this decade with 14,000 this year. Almost half a million Americans are infected and one million worldwide. Two years ago, Wyoming resident Charmaine Cecil was one of them. I had uh, C. diff colitis for a year and a half. Speaking via Skype, Cecil says that living with C. diff meant constant diarrhea. When antibiotics failed to cure her, her doctor suggested that a fecal transplant might. Cecil went to her region's largest research hospital, the University of Colorado Hospital. Gastroenterologist Steve Freeman says that at first, the idea made him cringe. Uh, the yuck factor is, has always been a very big drawback to this therapy. Research persuaded him that fecal transplants weren't that yucky. And to stop recurrent C. diff, they worked better than antibiotics. Freeman followed standard protocols to screen the donor. They're screened with uh, cultures uh, of their stool to look for C. diff and other enteric pathogens and parasites. His team infused donated stool into Cecil's gut by adding it to a common procedure called a colonoscopy. Within a week, things were back to normal. You know, and I've not had any problems since. The Fecal Transplant Foundation estimates that 800 procedures have now been done worldwide. Successes like these prompted the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to lift severe restrictions on the therapy, though they urge more studies. For VOA News, I'm Shelley Schlender in Boulder, Colorado.